I, William Wyatt of Salem, Coaster, testify and say that last Monday evening, being the fifth day of March current, I was in Boston, down at Treats Wharf, where my vessel was lying, and hearing the bells ring, suppose there was a fire in the town, whereupon I hastened up to the town house, on the south side of it, where I saw an officer of the army lead out of the guardhouse there seven or eight soldiers of the army and lead them down in seeming haste to the custom house on the north side of King Street where I followed them. When the officer had got there with the men he bid them face about. I stood just below them on the left wing and said officer ordered his men to load, which they did accordingly with the utmost dispatch. Then they remained about six minutes with their fire locks rested and bayonets fixed and not standing to exact order. I observed a considerable number of young lads and here and there a man amongst them about the middle of the street facing the soldiers but not within 10 or 12 feet distance from them. I observed some of them had sticks in their hands laughing, shouting huzzahing and crying fire, but could not observe that any of them threw anything at the soldiers or threatened any of them. Then the said officer retired from before the soldiers and stepping up behind them towards the right wing, bid the soldiers fire. They not firing he presently again bid them fire. They not yet firing, he stamped and said, Fire! Be the consequence what it will. Then the second man on the left wing fired off his gun. Then, after a very short pause, they fired one after another as quick as possible, beginning on the right wing, the last man's gun on the left wing flashed in the pan. Then he primed again, and the people being withdrawn from before the soldiers, most of them further down the street, he turned his gun toward them and fired upon them. Immediately after the principal firing, I saw three of the people fall down in the street. Presently, after the last gun was fired off, the said officer who had commanded the soldiers as above to fire sprung before them, waving his sword or stick, said, You rascals, what did you fire for? and struck up the gun of one of the soldiers who was loading again, whereupon they seemed confounded and fired no more. I then went up behind them to the right wing where one of the people was lying to see whether he was dead and where there were four or five people about him, one of them saying he was dead. And I remember as the officer said, was going down with the soldiers towards the custom house, the gentleman spoke to him and said, Captain Preston, for God's sakes, keep your men in order and mind what you are about. And further, I say not. <laughs>